Broadcasting from Skyline High School World Headquarters, it's time for SPTV News. Hey Spartans, and welcome back to another week of SBTV. I'm Jenna McJunkin. And I'm Malia Nakamura. We don't have many announcements for you, so let's jump right in. Senior quotes and pictures were due yesterday, so if you forgot, they will be using your ASB photo. On January 26th, there is an IB Information Night for freshmen and sophomores. With pumpkin spice lattes and Starbucks Red Cups being all anyone can talk about, some of our crew went out to see what Skyline's favorite Starbucks drink is. The uh, pumpkin spice white girl. The white chocolate mocha. Pumpkin spice latte because I am a white girl. I like water. Caramel hot chocolate. Uh, Venti iced coffee with no classic sub vanilla and extra cream. Chocolate chip frappuccino. Passion tea lemonade. A water cup from Starbucks. PSL! 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 You know, I could really go for a coffee after that. Yeah, no kidding. Hey Jenna, what are you doing after this? Nothing. Why? Do you want to go get a pumpkin spice with me after this? Do you even have to ask? Although I feel like that wouldn't be too healthy because I had one just this morning. Speaking of health, some of our very best went out to get some details about Club Med. Club Med is a medical club that is open to all students. Uh, it's student-led. It's supported by one national organization and a state-based organization. Health Occupation Students of America is one of the supporting organizations. Uh, and then the WCTSMA Washington Career and Technical Sports Medicine Association is the state-based organization. And through those organizations, students have leadership opportunities. They get to compete in various medical um, topics, subjects, Areas. This past summer, my partner Elliot Shin and I competed in HOSA's Forensic Medicine Division, which is the Health Occupational Students of America competition. Round two was a practical for forensic medicine. So we actually um, got to do a crime scene investigation of sorts. So the two of us were um, pretty much stuck in a room for about six minutes, and there were eyewitnesses who were reading scripts to us. There was a mannequin who was acting as the dead body, and there was this whole setup. They combined our practical scores along with our multiple choice scores to determine the winner, and we ended up getting first, which was pretty cool. So it's amazing how uh, really this is a spot for anyone in Club Med and it's really sp a spot for anyone in the healthcare industry. Looks super interesting. I hope you guys all go and check out Club Med's meeting next week. As many of you know, two weeks ago the Irish president made a trip out to Skyline to watch us play the Irish sport Gaelic football. I had an amazing time being able to catch up with him before he left. Here's what he had to say. We're here on the upper field of Skyline High School while the president of Ireland watches our third period PE class play Gaelic football. President Michael Higgins was delighted to see the Spartans adopting Ireland's national sport. It's wonderful. I think that hurling and football are now going all over the world. Hurling was probably the one that people found strangest because of the come on or the hurley, but it's now played everywhere. We, we, we're very pleased. Uh, as well as that, it's wonderful to see today here in the school people playing Gaelic football and playing it uh, so well. It was most important to President Higgins that the kids were staying active, and Gaelic football is a great way to do so. Uh, with the whole emphasis being, I think, on fitness as well as everything else, so being prepared for these games means that you don't get serious injury, but the enjoyment of it all was very pleasant as well. I'm delighted to be a <laughs> yeah. That means every blessing. <laughs> Everyone was buzzing with excitement. The PE classes were thrilled to be playing in front of such an esteemed guest. It's very exciting being able to play in front of uh, the Irish president and also these different news organizations like the Seattle Times and the Esquire Press. The Irish president left us with these wise words. I think as well one of the things about sport, and uh, one of the things I've been interested in several sports, and one of the things about arts and music and so forth, is that they're an immediate connection to other people who have their own sports and their own culture and their own music and their own songs. It reminds us of how we all belong and are interdependent together uh, in this fragile planet of ours. Go Ireland! I'm still so amazed that he made the trip out to Skyline. What an inspiring man. Agreed. But do you know what's not inspiring, Malia? Let me guess. All the kids who don't have any etiquette? Yes. So here's a segment on that so that you can change it. Thank you. 
Two. Wow. One. Wait. What are the I hope a lot of you paid attention to that video. Last, but definitely not least, here's Kaylee with the sports. Thanks, Jen and Malia. I'm Kaylee Kasuba, and let's get into the sports. Postseason is here for all fall sports, and Skyline is doing great. On the courts, last Saturday, volleyball beat Issaquah 3-0, but unfortunately lost to Eastlake 2-3. The girls were able to pull together and beat Bothell 3-2 to advance them to their game against Redmond yesterday, with more details to come next week. Great job, girls! On the field, girls soccer beat Issaquah 2-1 on Monday with goals by Emma Rolliter and Alexa Curtin. Make sure to say congratulations to our girls soccer Kinko Chance. Their information for the next game is still being determined, but will be played early next week. Keep it up, girls! On the course, as announced before, congratulations to Chris Mogg for advancing to state. The match won't be until the spring due to weather, so we wish you the best in preparation for state. In the pools, congrats to Girls Swim for a great performance at Kinko's. Our Spartans earned many first place finishes, including Christina Bradley for both the 200 and 500 free, Sarah Demeco for the 100 back, Lauren Salis in the 100 breast, and Kathy Lynn in the 50 free. Bradley, Demeco, Lynn, and Danica Himes took first place getting the 200 medley relay Kinko record, and Bradley, Demeco, Lynn, and Stephanie Young with the 200 free relay. Also, Kinko records were made by Kathy Lynn in the 50 free and Sarah Demeco in her 100 back. Tonight, the girls have district prelims, and tomorrow they have district finals. Amazing job, girls. Way to represent Skyline. For the runners, congratulations to senior Maisie Brewer, juniors Jennifer Tidball and McKinnon Hurd, and sophomore Geneva Schlepp for qualifying for state. Good luck tomorrow. I can't wait to hear how you guys do. On the gridiron, last Friday, football won 37-21 over Eastlake, which completes our conference standings in first place, being 8-0. Their next game will be tonight at 7 against Todd Beamer. The game will be a blackout, and Braden Allmeyer caught up with some of the guys for playoffs. The Spartan football team at this time last year was 4-4 four four going into playoffs, and they lost their first round. They are now 7-1 in Kinko Champs. They have their first playoff game this Friday against Todd Beamer in a single elimination game, so we decided to talk to the football stars Blake, Danny, and Jake to see what their plans are for preparing for playoffs. Yeah, in practice, you know, we're taking a step up, uh, picking up the intensity, and uh, just having a lot of fun out there, but yeah, it's a serious time. In playoffs, there's always been a tradition to bring out the freshmen on the scout team, so we're excited to have them. Yeah. Indubitably. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun hooking out with Blake on, on the field. I mean, on and off the field, we have a lot of chemistry. Um, I don't know if you guys know that. But, uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun, you know, balling out with my bros. Well, now that we know that the playoffs are much more intense than the regular season, we asked Danny and Blake if they had any special preparations. Yeah, you know, we've, ac we've actually implemented uh, team sleepovers on Thursday nights. You know, good way to build chemistry, get guys knowing each other. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Well, you heard it live from the gridiron. I'm Brandon Allmeyer reporting for SBTV News. Back to you, Kaylee Kasuba. All sporting events for the fall will now cost $5 with an ASB card due to postseason. Also, just a reminder that all gymnastics horns were due today and tryouts will be on Monday. For all other winter sports, boys and girls basketball, wrestling, and boys swim and dive forms are due by this Friday. Make sure to get a physical and check the Skyline Athletic website for more information on when Miss Spire's office is open. And good luck at tryouts starting Monday, November 16th. That's all for sports. Back to you, Jenna and Malia. Wow, our Spartans are really killing it this season. Well, that about wraps us up, Skyline. But before we go, a very happy birthday to... Ramsey. Lag. That's all we got for you this week, Skyline. See you next week and stay gold, Skyline. <laughs> Katie, we got it? I'm really sweaty, so.